this is Sarah and I'm here with the Scrap Squad 12 Days of Summer Scrap Lifts. This is day five um, with a scrap lift from Ginny Hughes. She used an A4 photo and here I am just deciding whether to have it on white cardstock, which is my usual go-to, or put it on a pattern paper. I did consider the pattern paper, but um, I wasn't quite happy with the butterfly on the right hand side. I wanted to do a photo of the twins 15th birthday which was in June and um, so I needed a little photo of them and then the A4 photo is of the fire pit we had in the evening. Um, I've had a new iPhone and I can't believe how well the photos come out on that. So here I am just mounting the small photo of them that I took in the morning on some white scrap card just to make it pop a little bit. And then once I've done this and trimmed it all down, I'll go on and choose another layering paper. And here I am. So it's just one with leaves on and I think it goes quite nicely with that large A4 photo. I tend to use uh, double-sided tape now when I'm scrapbooking. Um, I did use tape runners but I seemed to blow through them so quickly. So we had a quite a chilled birthday for them this year. All they wanted was a takeaway with us. Uh, my family live locally, mum, dad, my sister and her husband and three children. So they come over for drinks and cake, uh, but they didn't stay too long so that we could have our takeaway, which is what the twins have requested. And um, because the weather was so lovely, they said, should we have a fire pit? So we obliged and it was lovely. So here I am just matting that photo, forgot to cut off the printed strip on the edge. So going back to do that. And now I'm just deciding exactly where it should go. This is a leftover piece of punched paper that I'd used on a previous layout that was in with my Simple Stories Vintage Weather Garden, which is what I'm using for this layout. So I thought I'll pop that on the side. And then I'm looking at these cut aparts to see if I can use any for layering and matting. I didn't like that one because it was too close to the background paper. And then I just started chopping up some of the other ones that were there and auditioning them. Again, just chopping up the other bits. I absolutely love that black check and I wanted the label to show, which you'll see later on. In fact, I completely covered up, so that was a bit of a waste. But it all looks good in the end, it all came together. So again, just positioning the different cards and pieces that I've got. When I first set out, I wanted this to be a clean and simple layout, but as always, I just kept adding and adding. So I've decided that I'm happy with the small map that I'd started, and I definitely want the A4 photo to the left of the page, so I decided to stick that down. Again, using my double-sided tape. And then I go back to fiddling and faffing. I do a lot of faffing and moving things around and deciding exactly where things should go. That was actually one of the cards that I cut out before. It's the reverse side. It was the one with the floral heart on, which I couldn't get to work, but it looks quite nice at the top there. And now I'm going to go through the ephemera bits. I've got the two packs that I've mixed up because I've used this collection quite a few times before. So again, just trying little bits and pieces around. I don't want to add too much because I want the A4 photo to be the main focus with the photo of the two of them in the morning. 
I do love these leaves. I think that's what draws me to this range so much. Green is my favourite colour and the yellows and then all the leaves and vines, just beautiful. And it keeps going. You can see how much I've got left there and I've done so many layouts with it already. So trying all sorts of different bits. I didn't like that piece in the end because the centre wasn't die cut so it covered up too much of that mat that I had behind it. I'll see that soon. Move it. Yeah, that one looks much better. So now I decide it's about time that I stick these down. And my problem is, I always forget how I've got them. Um, I'm recording on my phone, otherwise I'd normally take a photo so that I can refer to it. So I need to figure out what to do with that. I think it pretty much all goes back together as it was. And this is a good way of doing it, sticking all the bits to your photo rather than down onto the A4. I don't think they went down exactly as they were at the beginning, but close enough. This is me sticking it down now onto the actual layout. And there you can see that heart on the reverse of that paper that I'd used as a map. Just making sure that it's all secure. Now I really wanted to cover that box to the left hand side of the photo, that's why I was trying the butterfly. I was so annoyed that we'd left it there when I took the photo. just popping this up on some foam just because of the bulk of the photo as well sticking it flat it would have been a bit wonky and this is where I realized that the black buffalo check piece is higher than I'd originally wanted it to be so that title piece is a little bit higher than I wanted it to be so later on you'll see I add another piece to the bottom just to even it out. So here I am adding the foam to the foliage again just so that it's not wonky when it goes on the bulk of the photo and thing, all the mats. So I just add it to the right hand side and then glue down the left hand side onto the photo. I love that foam tape, it just keeps going and going. I've got it in the shop. So here I am again messing with bits trying to cover that box up. And I do settle on this bit in the end and again it needs to be popped up on foam just to keep everything level. I 
and there it's covered. I feel much better about that now. And here I am flipping through the sticker book and just trying to work out if I can get the word 15 out of those letters, but I didn't have the right letters left. Just pop a little word saying today on. And a butterfly in the top right hand corner of the photo. You can see as I go through this book, there's so much in these Simple Stories sticker books. They're absolutely amazing value and really thin paper. So they just look like a dream when they put them on your layout. Now I'm using some really old alphabets that I've got from American Crafts from when I was scrapbooking a lot more back in 2009, I think it was. Um, but I adored these and I've got a couple of packs which I have to go through to get all the letters that I need. looking for the N at the end of 15. There we go. And now I'm going to spend ages moving it back into, back into deciding exactly where that title should go. I was worried that it didn't really show up too well on the photo. So I tried a few different positions. Because it's so old, the adhesive is failing on the chipboard. So I do go in after I finish recording and glue it all down. And then again, some really old letters that I've got from L Studio, LE Studio. Um, I just want to write, this is, the title is, this is 15. Again, just documenting their birthday. I think it was while I was sticking these down that I saw that there's um, a bit of dirt on the white cardstock. I think it's come from the A4 photo. I printed it on a home inkjet printer but I was able to just go over it with an eraser and get it all off so it's fine in the end. But it did annoy me when I saw that. So as I say, here I am, moving and moving and moving the title. I think that's its final resting place. And one more look through the ephemera, see if there's anything else I want to add. love circles so when I saw that piece I thought that had to be added and then I start looking at these word pieces and um, trying to decide where to put them and then I remember at the bottom right hand side there was a gap that I wasn't happy with so it ends up going down there Here I am just gluing it down using the Nouveau adhesive. Love that stuff. My bottle's getting to the end now, but it does last a very long time. Again, another look through the sticker book to see if there's anything else I can add. Deciding whether I should change the title to those green stickers, but I didn't have the right letters again, so just left it as it was. I really like this circle label and had I not glued that down it may well have gone underneath that circle set, which says you are amazing but it was already stuck down so I just abandoned that idea and then I saw these small circles and thought oh maybe I should put one inside the ring 
and you'll see when I position it, I don't really like putting things centrally inside, so it's slightly offset. Just like that. And here I'm just going in with my journaling. Always journal on my layouts because I want to remember everything. And for anybody else looking through my album, if they ever did, just that they've got a bit of background about the photo and what's going on. Didn't do quite enough lines, so just adding the last few words and then the date at the bottom. And that's just about it, the layout's done. So I'll leave you looking at the very last bits and then some close-ups. Thank you so much for watching.